this mountain here is known as Scalp, and round here it's all just townlands. That's all. This is my father, he's a conservationist. Like we made a lane through here, but he's just all planting, you know, all the trees, planting hedges and restoring bogs and making hedges. And... Right there, Mr. Yeah, I suppose most people of a, of a generation would have heard of the lifting stone uh, locally here. It was, a, I suppose, it was a feat of strength um, to be able to lift it. You're getting up the side of a mountain through shocks and water and heather, and by the time you get there, you're wrecked, and then you have to go and lift the stone. Uh, it was particularly lifted on a Blaybury Sunday, which is a festival, and on the first Sunday of August it was on Scalp Mountain, and. Girls and boys and men and women would have come and there'd be competitions, leaping or jumping competitions, blaberry picking, blueberry picking, bit of music, and then of course the, the, the lifting stone, uh, where young bucks would have tried to test their strength, and older Is bucks this, as well. Isn't the stone that says the Gabro, Gabro stone? Gabro, yeah. Wind stone. So that'd be kind of denser than grand? Does it be more? Oh, it's Jimmy. Wow, Jimmy. It's the only thing was a test of strength. Going back hundreds and hundreds of years, in certain villages, in certain glens in Scotland, and in certain villages in Ireland, there were lifting stones at the village. So there were feats of strength or tests of strength for men or also women. I found in Ireland two or three for women as well. But there were tests of strength for people in the village. Whether it was a rite of passage to be for boyhood to manhood, whether it was a rite of passage to become a warrior or whether it was just a rite of passage to gain social status. They were tests and feats of strength that men and women performed hundreds of years ago, like I said, for, for social status. Yep, that's that. Uh, and they were very, very important and they were part of the local lore, they were part of the local culture, you know. And they were, like I said, these, these trials and tests, they're not around anymore. We don't have anything like that. And I knew just through tradition locally here in, in Terman McGurk in, in Tyrone that there was a lift stone on, on Scalp Mountain. And in fact, about 10 years ago, myself and a few other lads went to try and, and lift it one Sunday morning. Uh, needless to say, we couldn't do it, but I knew that the legend existed about the lifting stone. Straight arms, straight arms, use your back. Use your back and your hamstring as if you're deadlifting in the gym. Straight arms, straight arms, use your back. Almost. <laughs> Term McGurk was one of the last uh, Gale Tuck speaking regions in, in, in Tyrone. So they have a word locally for, for the stone. It's called Smig E. So Smig is your chin, and E, Fada E, is to it, so it's chin it. So that was one of the things you, you had to do, either if you could put air or light under it, you were a bit of a hero, but if you could chin it, if you could lift it up to your chin, then you were a legend. So Smiggy is the, is the, the, the terminology they use for the stone on, on scalp. I have never seen that stone being lifted like that before. Oh, you'll see David doing the man. I never saw it. I never saw that stone being lifted like that. Oh, no. oh. People might get it off the ground, might get a little bit of light under it. The, the, the stone up here itself. Um, as I say, it was used on Blaybury Sunday. Girls and fellas would have come to sit about and talk and chat, and then some of the braver, the bigger fellas would have tried to lift the stone. That's gone back, you know, time immemorial. That's that's just been passed orally down through generations, from generation to generation. The location and the situation itself was, you know, the views and the connection with the whole um, area. That it was such a, you know, I suppose such a visual point in terms of people coming to but also what they could see around. Loads of people used to come here, usually in the month of July or August, for scalp stone. And uh, this here was adjacent to that stone with great sky. For me, I'm just going to put at a point, see when you put your hands on a stone you've no 
a historic stone that you've not lifted before. I start thinking about who's had their hands on this. Is my ancestral history, have they had their hands on this? Scotland. <laughs> The only thing is, for me, it's, it's had to connect me with my country and my, my culture and my people. Yep. It's connected me with the local stories, with the, the local folklore. Yep. With the old men and women who remember yeah. these stones and remember the names of the people who lifted them. Shoot <laughs> <laughs>